basically magic sword. Dun, 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 dun. The new bow and arrow fun of Beast Hunters. It is the Praying Mantis Bow and Arrow Hunter car. And the new Resistance Arrow. Even more fun of opening, closing, and shooting. Okay, so these are called, I think, either Eagle Bow or Eagle Fire, the launchers that we have. And today, guys, of course, we have the we have two of the Beast Hunter Primes. Now the Bumblebee was the very first vehicle in the Beast Hunter line. Whoa! That one just pretty launching. And we're gonna show you guys all of this stuff. So we have basically it's a tale of two bumblebees today. And we have the original one that we do not have all the weapons for. It's missing the, the hood scoop ones, and then we have what's called Night Shadow. And Night Shadow, guys, is the gold one that you're seeing right there. Kind of reload missile launcher. The best, the best thing about these guys is they come with extra reload. Do, do you guys actually? Let's take a look at that. Whoa! <laughs> oh yeah! Throw everything on that guy. Throw both of his, um, throw both of his hood things on, so I can see what it looks like. Okay. Double the action with another beam blaster. All right, guys. So let's take a look at this, Bites guys. It sounds miniature fun. Guys, you can take a look at this. This is a so look at all those weapons that could be just coming right at you, guys. Oh man, that is crazy. Guys, so we've got blades in the front. We've got missiles on both sides. Missiles on top. This guy's got six missiles, plus he's got these two blasters in front. So this guy's is, it'd be really hard to drive this car. He has such a difficulty with visibility. So you guys can see here what this guy looks like. And of course, then all the back, there's blades for the tail fins, blades for the back. Oh man, you blades guys can- Blades everywhere. Like the helicopter blades. Just totally get a look at this. All the coloration. So, Guys, this is the Night Shadow version, and of course, Leo has the um, the the original Bumblebee Beast Hunter over there as well. Head on over there, boy. And this is what this one looks like. We don't have the actual hood pieces, so we got these. I got these on a trip uh, at a collectible shop, and this looks really good with the black and yellow. I got to be honest. And then you can see, so this is the Eagle Bow thing on top, and so you you stuff the missile inside. You stuff the missile inside right here, guys. And then there's this little switch. That's the firing mechanism. There's a little spring load contraption in there. And so you can just take this off. It stores two of them. And then you can also store it like this as well. I believe you can put this on his backpack when he's in, uh, in robot mode uh, and store it like so. And that's what that looks like. And these also come off. So these are just, come here, storage. These are just weapon storage that go on the side and we'll take a look at the weapon storage I know is used for something pretty cool so guys we're gonna take a look just right at you know if he runs out of the missiles, vehicle mode if he runs guy. out of missiles if he runs out of missiles then you can you can grab the cartridges you can basically take them and this missiles off you can of see the, there's the part this of one's not notching in a hundred percent it's not bad though in the back so guys Leave us a comment. Let us know if you want us to do the tail light painting project. We may also get some chrome and attempt to chrome out the bumpers, but for sure, and the exhaust tips also. But for sure, guys, we're probably going to do that. And it looks like whoever had this car got some red stains of some kind on the on the side here of the door and on the roof. But there you can see, guys, it's very heavy, heavily stylized. I personally like the hood on this one a lot. In fact, here, let's grab that one from Leo. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of vehicle mood. And you can, you know what? You can take the missiles from from the sides up onto the missile loading pack. 
Okay. And it can kind of make so he can kind of switch. So in case he runs out of missiles, then he can use his before missiles up on his side packy. We can call those what we can call those cartridges actually. Cartridges. These are like sure. extra reload packs. Like extra extra reload packs. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. These are directional guys. So you can see that they have a plus sign on them. So you really have to get these lined up because otherwise they just won't notch in correctly. Same thing on these. You have to notch them in very precisely because you can see they've got the they've got that cross pattern on them. See, you can kind of do this. And here's this crazy guy. Holy moly. Okay, so uh, we can take off that. Take off that. You can see here, guys. So this is blue missiles as opposed to the black ones of the other one. See the side by side here, guys. And his eagle bow thing. Oh boy. So you can see there it is, guys. It's it's a key, it's, it's a key way thing. You can mix and match actually. So you can yeah, they're the same the same size completely. Come here, you. Oh. Okay, whoa. so so there it is, the guys. The car's kind of transforming, and that. you know that they're actually. If you see the dark energon ones, I don't know if. I think they might be so different. You can see the bow is different. Leo's got the yellow one. This one's black with, with blue, which is awesome, guys, because it's really hard to confuse these things. The guns here are gold. I'm guessing they're probably black if we had the, um, if we actually had the correct ones. So, um, and yeah, you're, Leo's showing you there. Let's, uh, let's have that yellow car over here, buddy, and let's do a side by side by side. Okay. All right, guys, so here it is. Um, oh. We're gonna do a comparison here in a second, buddy. <laughs> okay, so there it is, and okay. Let's give Leo all the pile of weapons. La ah, pile of weapons for Leo. Guys, check it out, you can't have my pen though. Okay, there it is. Leo's got the pile of weapons, okay. So guys, let's compare side by side by side. So here we have, you can see uh, the yellow bee has got the blue headlights, and the fender is not notching in here for some reason. Okay, so we've got the blue the blue lights, headlights. This one's just silver in the front. And then if we look at it from the top, so they're both really good. I like the yellow Bumblebee's hood better, but the rest of the car, I really like this gold on the roof. I think that's super cool. And then let's look at it from the side, side by side by side. Both of them are looking great, but I will be honest with you guys, I don't like the yellow center caps on this one. So I'm gonna give the edge to the, to the black one there. Uh, and then the back is about the same for both. And he's un, unnotching his doors again, come on B. And uh, so the same, this is the same as the other side. And you can see kind of how the how it shapes out with the fins and with the rims and everything with the blue thing. Okay guys, so let us know in the comment which one you think is better in vehicle mood. These heavily stylized ones, Leo, what's your pick? I picked that one because he looks super cool. And he's Leo is picking to Night Shadow. Book. Yeah, Leo's picking Night Shadow. Yeah, the Beast Hunters were not, they didn't appear televised anywhere. They just appeared as part of the comic book line. Guys, I'm gonna say, uh, so I like the fins better on this one. I like the hood better on this one. I like the side better on the other one. I like the roof better on the other one. For me, they're really a tie, guys. So I'm gonna say they're a tie. I like them both about equally. Dude, you can put guns over them like this. All right. Okay, guys, and the transformations on these are very, very, very simple. Uh, Leo and I are both gonna transform one so we can compare them on robot mood. Well, I'll tell you this, though. I'm putting on a couple extensions first. Okay, so Leo's putting stuff on his. So basically all we're doing is we're just gonna crack the roof like so. And then we are going to uh, pull out his, his uh, just detach it there. And then we're going to lift out the legs. And the legs on these are very, very sticky as you can see. Basically just pull those free, pull those free, and unseparate these. And then stand, stand this back now up. And you can see guys, lines. can you guys see there's an automorph technology in there? Leo's gonna be transforming his at the same time. Basically all you're doing is if you pull the center piece of the hood, that's what causes the transformation. So you can see there, so this is cool. It does this and it's the same on both cars. 
Uh, and then just untab his arms here. Just rotate those out. So rotate out the arms and then bring this down. And this, I believe, is gonna go there. And there is B in, in his head. All of his glory, guys, in his Beast Hunter mode. And you can see that th this, this auto automorph is a little sticky on this one. But there he is, guys. B in his sort of a night, sort of a night thing here. And then you can see his eyes buried in that helmet. These, these faces do not light up here. Only has already done with his too. Okay, so let's just take a look. Arrow too. And you can see look, the ball joints are a little loose on this can, one. You can hold his arrow even. Not too bad. You Not can too hold bad, his guys. arrow. Yeah, you can hold the bow. And um, so let's look at it from the side. Side's not bad. Back is really, really kibbly. And yeah, I think you can do some stuff with this. Move this part down. Still makes it kibbly, but side, and the, the side, and the, and the front are really good. And there's his face sculpt. So I think it's just okay on this one. You can kind of make him have like a cape sort of thing when you do this. Okay. Nice. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, you can do splits. Leo's gonna show you some of the crazy poses he came up with after this. So you can see here is this one has the gold. Now personally, the gold I think this works better. It almost looks like a Nemesis B, and you can see there's the gears of the uh, Automorph, which they called something else I think for these. And you can see there he is. So you can see he's uh, he stands okay too. They both stand well, about the same. So let's have them side by side by side. And so you can see, guys, let us know your favorite. Which of these two is the better? And there's Leo peeking in the back. Hi, Leo. <laughs> and, <laughs> oh, he's doing, the, he's doing the slappy thing for you guys. Okay, guys, here it is from the Sally's side. very unhappy. And the back is still junk on both of these two. And let's, let's compare head sculpts. Get it's your head like, in there. It's kind of like a mohawkish. So you can see the mohawk. eyes better on the yellow. It looks like they're completely gone in the night shadow. He's like in total stealth mode. So um, let's let me just let me yeah, just set him up. Yeah, stealth right mode That would be awesome because then you know what the Decepticons wouldn't see him and you know, and they they wouldn't know that he is there. So these guys are just totally looking at the ground. My shoes. I love my shoes. They're so pretty. <laughs> okay, so it's just. Uh. So on that. Okay, no. guys. So there it is, side by side by side. Let me close in on those guys a little bit here. In robot mode, I the, the badge is definitely with the black one here. You can actually see though where they got a lot of the robots in disguise coloration. Uh, from from uh, B here though. So guys, let us know what your pick is for the best robot mode. Leo, which one are you picking? Leo's picking Night Shadow again. Uh, I have to agree with him. I think Night Shadow is better in robot mode. So if I was going to display them, I would display, and this is awesome to have both of them, I would display this guy in vehicle mood, this guy in robot mood. You know what I would do? What would you do? I display this guy in vehicle mode, and I'll display this guy in robot mode. Okay. <laughs> Leo's being contrary here today, guys. Uh, so guys, there's actually more colors. Uh, well, I think it's the same amount of colors. So here we have gold. So this guy has gold, silver, blue, and black. So that's four colors. This guy has yellow, black, blue, silver, and red. So the yellow one actually has more colors, guys. But, um, you know, the, the way the colors go together and stuff, I think they're both really good. Okay, guys, so, and then we gotta show you the transformation back into I'll vehicle take mood. This one. Okay, this one. all right, dibs on that one. Okay, guys, so the first step here is to bring these two points together. So, this one again, very, very stiff. So, basically, all you're doing is you're bringing this point and this point together, like so. Okay? And that does that. And we close up this, the back half of the car at this point is finished. And from there, we lift up the roof, and you can see the roof pivots back, like so. 
and then we just bring this part this part down and that will close in these you have to have his his arms kind of tucked away and you can see most of this is done at this point and we bring up the roof put this together and flip this around like so and so there's not a lot to this guys as you can see Are you done already buddy guys leo just whoop me whoop me so he's already done guys that one actually is a little looser so but we'll just say that he whooped me. <laughs> so there it is guys, so you can see there's not much to this. Once you put the back part of it together, it's just the double hinges and everything. And putting this part back, this part of the hood. You know what? The at that point, you're done. I mean, that's there's not a lot to this. So you know what would make him better? If you would put black things on him, it looks like he's really stealthy. Okay, and so Leo guys came up with some really whipping poses for a lot of these guys. And you want to show them some of the crazy poses? Well, first you can do this. In in you can make it more stealth by putting the black darts on them and this arrow shooter. And you can make this guy not stealth because then you can put on the kind of pink disguise thing. So guys, so Leo I think, uh, for me, I would say you get both toys. I think they're both awesome, guys. I wouldn't say, I would get, say, I wouldn't get, say get one over the other. I would say get this one over this one. Well, I guess it would be pretty good to have it because then you can kind of mix and match parts. Yeah, you can have both. And then, I mean, here's the other thing, guys, is that having two like this means that you can display one in, in vehicle mode and then have the other one in robot mode. But also, guys, so if you have two of the same transformation like this, but the coloration is different, you can also do what we just did and sort of have transformation races, you know, with your friends or your, your brothers or sisters or your family or whatever. And See, that's kind of cool look too. Look at this. The, so this bear oh, arrow did not make him any more stealth. Let's take the arrow off and put this guy back on him. So the black missiles make him more stealth. Yo, and this matches with the window. Yeah, yeah. So guys, it does. You don't get you don't get uh, the contrast at all if you're putting black on black. That's a good point, Leo. So you can kind of just you can move around the missiles too. So we're going to take this blaster off, and let's say for size, we're going to take one of the missiles off, and then one of the ones from here, and then put the say the one that we just took off on. Here. See? Look, it's higher than this one. We're going to kind of get it the same length. Well, you can just make a crazy stack with that thing. This is how you can actually line up a lot of these. You have to do it this way. So now we can kind of put the purple on the same length like the yellow is. That's how you can. This is how the contract, and this is how stealth goes, is you have to figure out the size, the shape, and the and how it's gonna fit. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm in love with the blue against the yellow, to be honest with you guys here. Let's pull that in so you can get a look at that. I don't know, what do you guys think? Leave us a comment, let us know. I think it's okay, I'm not really in love with it though. That color of blue, guys, is, is honestly kind of funky to me. I wish I would have picked a different color of blue. Well, you know what? We're going to do something like, a little more. It's, like, it's like almost they're trying to go for a silver blue and just didn't quite make it all the way. So now we have two blues. They look like tanks like that. It just like there's so many weapons on these cars, guys. This is nuts. So let's uh let's let's take a look at that one actually. This is just out of hand. Just crazy guys, just crazy. We're gonna take this cartridge off. And then we're going to take one of the missiles out and then replace it with a... Uh... Wow. That's, that's uh, something else, guys. And there is, of course, Night Shadow. I'm making... You want, you want to show them some of the robot mode poses, dude? But, actually, I'm almost done with my po my car things here. Okay. So, now that we have... I'm kind of making colorful darts here. Mm -hmm. I'll try to make it... Yeah, and the gold on yellow really doesn't work, guys. I wish we, I mean, we've got some of those other guns for the Dark Energon guns, for our Dark Energon Bumblebee, although I don't recall where those are. So there's, 
you know, you can, and, and those, by the way, guys, will fit here. It's the same hole size and everything. So. This is why you can mix and match with them. Yeah. This yeah. Like, I, this looks like a spear almost. It does, yeah. Yeah. So there it is, guys, bristling with weapons. <laughs> yeah, it's like a big bristling with extra web yeah. cartridges. Indeed, indeed. I, I said web cartridges. Yes, you did. Time to put the blue one on. Now we could just kind of put the black on its regular black one. So this is one of the cool things you can do with Diane. And you can also kind of just go ahead and then the switch. Well, there it is, guys. Here, let's pull in here and take a look at Leo's creations. All right, very cool. I call this one the I call this one the Mohawk Samurai Bow and Arrow Carded Blasters. Color. Wow, that's a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> And I call this one the headlight shooter because okay. you know that this. There it is, guys. Here, headlight grab, shooter and the other one with the million I'll needs. Grab this I don't remember. And, and it matches, so I'm going to call it the headlight. Okay. Awesome. That's, that's a good name for it. The headlight, like a horror movie, like Friday the 13th. Good titles. Good titles. So it looks like this bow and arrow has a little Cybertron ish thing on it. Yeah. Yep, it does. And and, and I'm gonna give the, I'm gonna give this one a little good detail for they, they added the same bow and arrow texture. So now time to see what crazy robot poses I can make. All right, I can, guys. He came with some really cool ones yesterday. They were like uh, they were like super like long like splitty things that that were really neat and. You know, I mean, you can do it with both of them. I think probably he's just going to do it with the Night Shadow figure, but... I'm not going to do it with both of them. I'm going to do a couple fight poses, too. Oh, dude. Sweet. Yeah, guys, we really don't spend a lot of time with poses. So for this video, we're going to run a little bit of this on here, guys. And you can, you can skip to the end if you guys don't want to see robot poses. But that's basically what we're going to do is we're just going to rock right through here. Some, some of these uh, poses. Yeah. And you can see guys, so these are a little bit of older figures and you can see the joints are definitely pretty stiff on these. Ow. And they're spiky. This isn't as dangerous as 2014 Godzilla, but they're <laughs> a little spiky. That's a weapon. <laughs> Sometimes you can realize that making different poses could be glorious. You can make a whole bunch, like puppy pose, stuff like that. Yeah. The the fight poses will be in the later pose parts. I still have to figure those out, but I'll do that on camera. It's just sometimes you gotta get you gotta get used to poses. You gotta do that first. Yeah, this that's a lot of the fun of Transformers guys is to do some posing with them. Uh, a lot of people just do just do just that, but and we don't do a lot of that. We do a lot of different other playing with them, but. Well, we have a commanding view of the back of the of the uh, transformer. Oh, we've got a view of the side of the transformer. Okay, there he is. Whoa, guys, what is it? Okay, well, let me close in on that, guys. Uh, what do you think Leo calls this crazy pose? I call this one the captain pose. The captain. <laughs> Why? Why do you call it the captain? <laughs> oh man! Hey, come back here. What All right, you... now time to do a fight pose. Okay, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Why do you call it the captain pose? It's because it kind of has a captain leg on it. Oh, okay. All right. And now it's time to do for the eagle pose. The e Oh, yeah, okay. All right. This is the eagle pose, right? Guys, Let's if you it. have any cool poses... Uh, let us know so we can come check those out too. Look at that. Either shoot us a message over on Twitter or guys, if you want to leave us a comment, uh, don't leave the link. Just tell us where to find it and we will come and check that out. Look at this. Pretty crazy guys. See, he's flying Whoa. over like this. <laughs> oh, and this reminds me of one of my other poses I made so far. And daddy didn't notice this last night when I was practicing my poses. No, I didn't. 
is this one is called oh this one's called crunch into like a, a <laughs> smash cube at the wrecking yard no this is called a circle pose oh my gosh guys circle pose what <laughs> that's not a very useful pose i don't think but okay well, and this is called the butterfly pose oh pretty it's a pretty butterfly guys so Ooh. you can you can kind of just do this this is called the butterfly pose okay See? Nice. Okay. Alright. And do you want to see superhero pose or not? Sure. Superhero pose is this. With the with the roof up? Yeah, that's okay. what it's called. Superhero pose. Okay. Alright guys. Superhero pose is a flyful thing. It's kind of like a flyful thing. Okay guys, so leave us a comment and let us know if you like those names. Or guys, if you have any other different names that you think we should be thinking about, let us know that too. Please do not. We're, we're always down to hear your thoughts on what we should be calling stuff, guys. Yeah, but we could call this guy the Sauce Boy. The Sauce. What kind of sauce? It's just sauce. <laughs> just give me the sauce. You're making me laugh, dude. Give me the sauce. No, no. No sauce for you. You shall not have some pie. You shall not have pie or sauce. More sauce on the pie. Ew. You don't even know what kind of sauce it is. How about honey? Honey on the pie. A honey sauce, that'd be good. Guys, what about soy sauce? Let us know if you like soy sauce Ugh. on your pie. Alright, what do we what pose is this one called? You're gonna see. It's called banana pants. Nope. It's called You're Gonna See? Oh, that's a good name. I like it. Oh, he's got the bow, dude. Nice. Whoops, now he doesn't. Whoops, now he doesn't. Whoop, whoops, now he doesn't. Okay guys, here it is. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 that is awesome. Face, turn him a little bit so he can point it at the camera. Oh, guys, that is whipping. Now you got to point it and at, you know what would make it better point it at the you light. looking straight at you. Oh, guys, that is wicked. Guys, that is awesome. Check that out. It looks like it's the time bow. Uh oh, here comes. Oh, so one of these guys is the ah. eagle bow, and one of them is eagle fire bow, or something like that. Eagle fire bow? Yeah, eagle fire, I think, is night shadows, and then the other one. And there's supposed to be a little bit of a difference in the bows, like one's bigger or something, I think, but we haven't really noticed any kind of a difference. They look the same to us. Okay, here it is, guys. It looks like mommy and daddy are gonna be. Ah! He did the splits. <laughs> I can't do them very well. No, their joints are a little bit. So it's kind of weird. Some of their joints are super stiff and some of them are just like crazy loose. But that's what happens guys when you get collectible toys. Because you don't know how somebody else took care of it. And it looks like Leo is setting up a little bit of a fight pose here. And we're going to see if we can... <laughs> I like my shoes. Oh, okay. I guess, I guess that fight didn't go very well. Well, you know what would make it better and they wouldn't fall? What? Plugging her feet together. Oh yeah, it's gonna be harder to move like that, but sure. And yeah, you guys, you can do this too if you want to plug their feet together. That helps them a little bit more. It might make them slightly more stable. Well, it, so when you have loose ball joints, that'll help them from collapsing. But <laughs> <laughs> didn't didn't help old uh, Night Shadow there. The Civil War. Okay, guys, you get a look at this. Everybody's got their rockets all tuned up. And let's go over his shoulder, and you can see there's the other bee, and the guys are getting ready to face off here. And he has a spear. He but can not cut really. His guns. Because Ow, not really friends. And Leo's a secret weapon. <laughs> that was a fast <laughs> fight. <laughs> it's over, guys. It's over. It's over, guys. Over and done. But anyway, guys, you can do some of these. These have really loose ball joints, so it takes us a lot to get these poses set. So you guys want to probably do that somewhere somewhere stable, which is, I mean, that happens with, with the plastic is that the ball joints will wear down a little bit and they just won't hold as firm. That's why you see like ratchet joints on the stronger ones, like some of the combiner figures and everything. But guys, anyway, that is going to wrap it up for us this time. Hopefully you like this look at two figures from the Prime Beast Hunters line. We have the very first one in that line, which is the original Bumblebee on your left and we have night shadow bumblebee which came on quite a ways down the line guys 
And it's, it's really cool seeing them side by side. Obviously, Night Shadow is, is a redeco of the original Bumblebee, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the look at that. Uh, if you did, please give us the old big fat thumbs up. Hit the old subscribe button if you've not done so already, guys. If you would, we would certainly love if you would hit the bell so you can be notified of the latest and greatest videos and other content as it becomes available. Or He's you can simply follow us. I'm trying to make it. He's trying to make a sprint. Or guys, you can simply follow us on our Twitter feed, which, guys, is updated live as soon as changes happen to the channel, guys. And we would love to hear your comments. Do you have these toys? Do you plan on getting these toys? Do you like these toys? Some of the Beast Hunters toys, guys, do get a little bit uh, derpy and kind of weird. These ones are pretty cool, though, because this really, I think, more than anything, shows what the line was capable of, of, uh, of doing. And um, it, it's, I, I really like these two figures. The only thing I don't like about them is in, vehicle, is in robot mood. They both are looking at the ground, which is just a personal annoyance of mine. Obviously, there's no paint on the back, which we hope to fix for you guys in some future videos, guys. Leave us a comment. Let us know if you'd like to see us do that. And we will see you all next time. I'm trying to make it so everybody has a jetpack. Okay, we're using rockets as jetpacks, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.